Hi everyone, this is Miss Florence from the Tenafly Public Library. Today we conclude our exploration of 21 YA books for 2021. For in-person readers advisory, I've seen interest grow in both the romance and the mystery genre. The popularity of To All the Boys I've Loved has really pushed the demand of YA romance in recent years. Flipped by Wendelin Van Drenen. In this character-driven story told in multiple perspectives, Flip tells the story of Bryce and Julie. While exploring the romantic trope of opposites attract, Julie is full of passion and fights for the causes that are close to her heart. And Bryce can be described as immature, judgmental, and even fault-finding. As individual perspectives are inspected in alternate first-person narratives, emotions and first loves mature through the span of six years of the storytelling. Rounding out this romantic comedy full of heart is a cast of supporting characters such as Bryce's grandfather and Julie's dad. As what can be considered as a love-hate relationship between two teens evolve, a wide range of emotions and coming-of-age themes are affectionately explored. A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Namey. For fans of Love and Gelato, I have the perfect romance to add to your TBR list. A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow follows the protagonist, Lila, to the countryside of England as her parents decide that she needs some well-needed rest. When an unexpected loss is suffered by Lila's family, Lila struggles with how to deal with her grief. You see, she is the type of person who likes to make plans and follow through. However, when her life after graduating high school unfolds in unexpected ways, Lila seeks comfort in extended family, a new environment, and perhaps even new friends. Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer Fans of the Lunar Chronicles will recognize Meyer as a dystopian genre writer. However, for her latest title, Meyer switches gears with this light-hearted romance where opposites attract. Our protagonist Prudence can be described as a type A overachiever who is paired up with Quint who is sloppy and has an underwhelming record at school. While the themes of overachievement and karma are explored, the chemistry of this unlikely couple starts to blossom. What makes this YA romance a true gem is Meyer's ability to weave elements of magic and self-discovery in the story of interpersonal relationships. Now shifting gears to the mystery genre, whenever I ask teens what they love about YA mysteries, they tell me that they love the thrill of the chase and the laser-eyed focus they need in order to solve the case. The doldrums of everyday stress seems to fall away as these teens wear the hats of detectives and focus on the clues of their whodunits. The Inheritance Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. What would you do if you stand the chance to become an overnight billionaire? The catch? You are inheriting the money from someone you don't even know. From the author of The Natural Series and Deadly Little Scandals, Jennifer Barnes invites the readers to a mind-numbing puzzle where the protagonist's life may be on the line. For older readers who grew up loving puzzles, riddles, and mysteries such as The Westin Game, this one's for you. The Inheritance Game is a young adult take on the ultimate brain teaser that can lead to wealth and succession. Okay, a lot of readers from the Tenafly Library community have enjoyed One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus, the story where five students go to detention but only four leaves alive. By the same author, we have McManus' newest thriller, The Cousins. Similar to The Inheritance Game, the protagonists of this novel also stand the chance to become rich, but only if they can get their families back into the good graces of their grandmother. The twists and turns of this novel quickly propels the story of the three cousins forward at a fast pace McManus fans are sure to welcome. I recommend cousins to older teens who enjoy mystery solving and unraveling mysterious motives. Green Glass House by Kate Milford. Green Glass House offers mystery with a dose of magic. 
readers can relate to Milo, an innkeeper's son who just wants to cozy up to a quiet holiday. But as suspicious guests are checked into his parents' hotel, Milo's plans take for a turn for something a little bit more exciting. As the mystery unfolds, Milo teams up with the cook's daughter, Medi, and the two embark on a whodunit adventure. The pair finds their powers of deduction through a childhood role-playing game. From blue-haired Georgie to silent-footed Clem, the cast of supporting characters are sure to keep readers guessing. Thanks everyone for joining me for this four-part series on YA book recommendations. I hope that you have fun exploring some of these titles. And for those of you that may be participating at your school's reading challenge, good luck! If you can't make it to the library but need a book right away, try Hoopla or Libby. With just your library card, you can access our e-library. I've linked down below quick start guides to both apps. Bye, and I'll see you next time.